Welcome to another Hero Arts video. Today I'm going to show you a simple tape transfer technique that I've learned and I'm just using re regular Scotch brand um, packing tape. So I'm going to pull out a length of tape that I need just to cover some paper and I've cut my paper in strips and it's just um, printed paper by Basic Gray. I'm just going to snip the end. I always dog ear uh, my tape so the next time I go to it I can get to the end really easy. Nothing more frustrating than not being able to find the end. So now I'm just going to use my bone folder and I'm going to press the tape into the paper. The more that you do this the better it is um, because the ink will stick to the, the sticky tape. Uh, you can also do this with uh, magazines or any other type of printed matter like newspapers or books or anything else. So now I'm going to stamp my flower image and I've chosen just a simple outline flower I'll stamp it three times I think I can get onto this sheet. And I, well, usually when I stamp a row of anything, I'll stamp from the bottom to the top. I work my way up. That way I can see what I've stamped and what I can stamp next. Sorry, the glare from my um, skylight is shining on this tape. So I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. And I've already stamped up some other ones, so I'll pull those out and go to the next step. So I've used a couple different patterns of paper, once it'll mix well together, and then I'll start cutting them out. Okay, I've got about six flowers cut out, and I'm just going to immerse them in this bowl of water. And it's just regular tap water, and I just kind of push them down to make sure that they get all wet. So what we need is for the paper to soften up. So those are going to sit in the water for a couple minutes. Now I'm going to see if the paper softened up, and the best way is by just kind of pulling and seeing if it rolls off. Yep, it's starting to roll off. So what I'm going to do is just take my thumb, I'm just going to keep getting it wet, and I'm going to roll the paper backing off of the tape. And what you need to do is to get all the little fibers off around all the edges, and you also need to be firm yet gentle. Um, you don't want to rip your tape. And I find it easier to go ahead and cut out my images before I um, do this process. It's hard to cut just the tape, but it's really firm with the paper still attached. So what I'm going to do is just get all my little edges. It kind of gets hairy around the edges, so you just kind of pull them all off. And I'm just setting them down on this plastic. Um, it's actually a mat for doing leather tooling. So now I'm finishing up the rest of my flowers, set them down, and then I'm going to just take a rag and dry them off. And there they are. And this is how I re-ink my um, stays on pads. And I usually do this about once a week. I find that um, if I use it a lot or if it just sets, they kind of dry out a little bit. So I just squeeze them on, and then I grab my splodger, and I press the ink into the pad and I just go smoothly moving it around but about once a week you'll need to do this and you can tell if your stamps stick to your ink pad it's time to re-ink. So now I'm inking up my stamp. It's going to be hard to see because everything's white on white. I'm going to get in to take a peek. There we go. I just don't want to slip, so I'm really careful when I, st when I stamp on anything slick. I'll stick this paper under so you can see. There we go. Okay, next I'm going to round the corners of my uh, strip that I'm going to put under the words. I've also cut a white card and I've made it three inches wide. Um, I want it to just sit behind the tag. I've already put my flowers onto my tag. They stick um, by themselves. You can use a little uh, extra glue dot to stick your flowers on if you don't trust that they'll stay on. So I'll just add some adhesive. And then trim the excess. I usually work on a larger piece of paper and trim off what I don't need once I'm done.
Next I'll punch a couple holes with the tag and the card together. And the card is open, it's just on the front side of the card. And I'll add some brown ribbon, brown being my favorite color, and just in a simple square knot. And I'll snip my ends off. Next I'll use a couple glue dots under the tag to attach the tag to the card, just for a little extra security. And some of my flowers are hanging off over the side, so I'll go ahead and snip those off. I'm also using um, Teflon scissors, so the tape won't stick to the, the scissors when I'm done. If you can tell, my other scissors are quite gluey that are sitting down there. Um, so next I'm going to be stringing two buttons to each other, one front and one back of the hole of the tag. And I have to laugh because my husband came in when I was trying to do this and I got distracted. And sometimes you just have one of those days where nothing seems to go right. And well, this is this is it. This is an example. So I'm just going to pull those through, get all the extra th thread out of the way. There we go. And again, I'll tie a square knot, and it right over left and left over right. Oh, I'm working on a towel because of the water. Um, I usually, and I'm at the kitchen. I'll just snip my little ends. Straighten my button out, and then I'll end up, I think I'm going to snip this other end of this. And here's my card. Thanks for watching.